a young woman and her brother, Jacqueline and Thomas, came to Port-au-Prince from the southwestern mountains of Haiti three months after the January earthquake. In downtown Port-au-Prince, Jacqueline received an IRC food card and was able to feed herself and Thomas while they looked for shelter and work. After two weeks of searching, they found a room for rent in the Babiole section of Port-au-Prince. After a month, it was getting harder and harder to find food. Many of the NGOs had scaled back distribution in hopes of a more sustainable solution from the local government. With rent coming due, lack of food, and no prospects for jobs, Thomas made a decision. The quake buried half the island. At the very same time, it exposed humans in crisis. The disaster brought out bare facts, how some are forced into desperate, futile paths. There is a fierce struggle for power Jacqueline faces, the need for importance that gives her fight meaning, and the poignant fall that accompanies her failure in the quest. Today, Thomas pimps his sister Jacqueline. He sees it as the only means of making money. Sadly, he has convinced her of the same blind vision. The life they confront on a daily basis and the insanely powerful forces at play make their journey all the more incredibly daunting. <laughs>